What is up my amazing viewers, my name is Cyberlag and welcome to another Fallout 4 mod showcase. And today, as you can tell from my voice, I am very hyper because someone finally released a mod that will allow me to copy and paste my settlement somewhere without having to use the save file with the settlement in it. Yes. C. Dante everybody, C. Dante made a mod called Transfer Settlements Mod, which pretty much allows you to copy a settlement and put it into a whole different save file, whole different world, whole different adventure. Alright, so as you can see here, I have my Hangman's Alley Market Settlement, and yes, this is probably one of my favorite settlements that I've ever made anyway. And I've been wanting to put these settlements on Nexus or something, just to upload them. I didn't want to just upload the save files because it's kind of stupid considering my save files are literally like level 9, like I'm level 98, dude. Level 98, I've devoured every single quest and every single type of well almost every single easter egg and whatnot so it's kind of hard to make this unique for you and actually enjoy it without just having this settlement for no reason so without further ado let me show you what this mod can do and anyway i have to scroll down all the way down to the bottom because well i'm a dumbass and i have every single miscellaneous thing i've ever picked up from the game in this inventory right here and the thing is, the miscellaneous stuff has no weight, so why would I ever take it out? So here, settings. Transfer settlements, the last thing you should find. And anyway, so here you have three things. And the first thing is you should look at it or the general settings. Now these general settings are basically for lag purposes. And what I mean by that is, it does a kind of a cool animation and stuff while your settlement is being exported slash imported. Alright, so now to export this settlement to a blueprint. Uh, all you need to do is select one of these 10 slots, and I uh, need to remind you, there are only 10 slots. So if you want to overwrite something, that's a possibility. Um, but you can also just take them out of your um, the file that everything's in. You can set the file, I think you, there's a way to customly set the file, but I haven't done that. And also it will tell you if it's empty or not. And I'm just going to overwrite this because it doesn't matter. I'm just going to do it. I'm just going to confirm it. Alright, so you have a few more options here. So you can export the original items not built by the player pretty much everything that was in this settlement before um, I don't know pretty much that just exists that wasn't built by the, built by the player I'm not gonna do that because most of my items are just DLC items and mod added items so this is these two then we have export farm animals dogs I'm not gonna do that because I really just I the only thing I have is a Brahmin that I really don't want in here now, export taming creatures, it means death claws and stuff like that that you get from the cages, but you will need to put a uh, one of those beam things. I don't remember what they're called, the, the beta transmitters, something like that. Anyway, so this is pretty much all I need. I don't, I don't want the thing. Another thing that's, I mean, it would be cool, but it also would be overpowered to actually export the NPCs because then... I, I could pretty much give you all my level 4 merchants just by exporting the NPCs. However, I don't know if that's a possibility because they're actually NPCs and they could actually be dead within your game. So it's... I don't know. I, I don't know. if It might be possible at some point. If this mod gets updated fast again and he does this, I'll, uh, I'll do that as well. So anyway, let's start the export. And you'll get a little bit of a loading screen for a second. Alright, and as you can see, on my left there's a little, like, uh... You know, the little settlement icon, the tractor thing, pretty much says that it's scanning it. So, it has, this settlement has 773 items, apparently. Um, however, it only will account for 710. I don't know why that is. I feel like that's just the, the end settlement items. I'm not sure. But pretty much, it's going to just take everything but the NPCs and the Brahmin. So, and... This is gonna it's gonna do this for a while, then it's gonna say exporting the settlement after it's done scanning it. This actually looks pretty cool. Like this guy did a lot of good shit with the visuals and everything and whatnot. So yeah, pretty much we're just gonna wait for this and uh, I'll be right back. And the export was successful. Now it tells you where it's gonna go, it's like wherever that whatever this number bullshit is with the file anyway. And these are all the mods you're gonna need, so you might wanna take a screenshot check the blueprint for about you know what I mean this is all you're gonna need for the uh, for the import and this should be done now 
All right, now I'm gonna go into a previous save file and um, see if this is gonna work. And voila, here we are at Hangman's Alley with the Scrap All Command em embraced. I don't know why this left. From the I don't understand. See, when you scrap everything in the settlement, sometimes like weird stuff like this or like a wall will won't leave. I don't understand this. But anyway, this is back when the Automatron DLC first came out. And uh, Ada still looked like a bitch. Yeah, pretty much. But anyway, that's not why we're here. We're here to... First of all, thank you very much. I did not want this Brahmin in my settlement. And disable. There we go. Now, as I was saying, let's go back into the Pip-Boy and look for this stupid thing for another 12 days. There we go. All right, import a settlement from a blueprint. I only have one blueprint, so it doesn't matter. So it tells you what you need and whatever blueprint info. So I'm just gonna import. Uh, oh, I'm gonna nuke the settlement before the import, which I'm gonna show you what that does. Uh, I don't want farm animals. I do not want tame creatures. I do not want this crap. And start the import. Now nuking the settlement pretty much means uh, it's gonna spawn a bunch of mini nukes and that sh should be it. So as you can see it's just kind of spawning everything in like it does sometimes when your when your uh, game is not loading textures. It's, it shows that it's doing it pretty fast so let's see how much it's gonna- Oh, This is- this is cool actually. There's also an animation for this where it just comes out of the ground like it's- I don't even know it just looks crazy to me. And everything's slowly forming, like in a weird order, but everything is slowly coming together. Whoa, there. Hmm. Here it is. And it's done already? Huh. Alright, it's done, apparently. And actually, it is done. Wow. This thing did a good job. The only thing it didn't import was this this wall because it doesn't exist in the thing but it did import the sign so anyway guys as you can see here the only thing that it hasn't actually imported are wires um, now why it does not do that I am not sure and I think also you need to reload your game so it doesn't do this spaz attack thing every time but it doesn't matter For right now this is good enough I'm not really intending an import on importing this on any of my other saves as of right now anyway so as you can see, if you've seen my settlement tour, um, everything is here. Even every single little prop is here. The only thing you might not see are some of the stuff that uh, were stacked by the, you know, the level four merchants. But I'm just gonna go through it real quick, just look at, at everything. And as I said, you will need to uh, replace everything as far as well, um, as far as wires are concerned. And something you might have to do is also, uh, you might need some console commands because this thing, I actually disabled this in game. So as you can see, this is what it used to look like in my settlement. It doesn't really make big of a difference if you have if you don't have this house here, but that's all I'm gonna say about that. And then there's one more thing that I need to disable, and that is right over here up in Smiling Larry's house, and uh, that is this. And then it should be fine. Yeah, there we go. So, guys, um, that is it about this mod. This amazing mod that, honestly, I could not ask for a better mod for my situation because, you know, I'm a settlement builder. And I kind of stopped building settlements, but I will get back to it. I kind of just scrapped my castle. I'm going to I'm gonna actually just um, post that. I, I think I tweeted about that. You can check my social media. So, anyway, guys... I will have a link to uh, download this settlement. I will get the import, the exported file and upload it to Nexus Mods now that I can do this. So anyway guys, thank you all so much for watching this video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Uh, the links, there will be links in the description for you to download this settlement, my version of the Hangman's Alley. Um, there will be my social media is in the description below. It has been for a while. And also the description for the mod, the, the link for the mod description for the mod. If I could speak, it would be nice. But anyway, the link for the mod is also in the description. And I will see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.